second here, but hundreds of thousands of workers are about to get an unprecedented raise from 16 to $20 an hour. Restaurant owners fought long and hard against that. Tonight, there are claims one of Newsom's big donors won't have to pay his workers that increase. The governor denies it. State Republicans want an investigation. Fast food workers rejoiced late last year when a deal was announced to raise the minimum wage for most fast food workers to $20 an hour. The agreement was reached between Governor Newsom, Democrats in the state legislature, and leaders in the fast food industry. But there was an exception to the raise. It did not apply to restaurants with on-site bakeries and that sell bread. Hello, family. Welcome back to another episode of Journey to Harmony. I'm your host, Richard Harmon. Today, I want to come to you and talk to you about um, a current issue that Gavin Newsom is facing uh, calls for of corruption from both the left and from the right. So Gavin Newsom is uh, previously signed into law the bill that raised a minimum wage for fast food workers up to twenty dollars an hour, which is cool. It's across the board; everyone's fine with that. But news has come out now that the the bill was signed and it left out people who had bakeries or who sold bread. This is interesting because Gavin Newsom's one of his greatest um, supporters, campaign supporters. It's also his friend named Greg Flynn. Uh, Greg Flynn is a billionaire who owns a number of Panera Bread. Greg Flynn has been donated multiple times to Gavin Newsom's campaign. Uh, last year in the re recall election, um, he donated $100,000. After that, he was donating another $65,000. So this particular bill basically exempts his his company from having to pay twenty dollars an hour and this right now is part of the issue that people are calling on so gavin newsom saying it's just a coincidence other people are not believing it let's go ahead and watch a video here we'll take a little bit of time and review this the first time joining please hit that like button consider subscribing to the channel and here we go newsom was asked about the exception when the bill was signed that's part of the sausage making that was part of 257 the original bill and we went back and forth and there was part of the negotiation it's the nature of negotiation there's a lot of component parts in the industry. It's not just Jack and Box, not just McDonald's. There are a lot of different players. This affects a lot of different franchisees. But new questions are being raised about the exemption after a report from Bloomberg News showing Newsom received large donations from wealthy businessman Greg Flynn, the owner of 24 Panera Bread restaurants in California, which markets itself as a bakery and bread shop. I'm honored to be here. Flynn seen here accepting an award at the Restaurant Leadership Conference. We checked campaign finance records and found in 2022 alone, Flynn donated $100,000 to stop the Republican recall of Governor Newsom and $64,800 to Newsom for California 2022. A spokesperson for the governor blasted the claims of special treatment for a big donor, saying in a statement, the governor never met with Flynn about this bill and this story is absurd. Our legal team has reviewed and it appears Panera is not exempt from the law. Democratic Assemblyman Chris Holden of Pasadena, who took over the bill, said Thursday he didn't know about the bakery exemption. I inherited the bill, uh, so the fundamentals of the bill were in place. Uh, when I uh, took the bill over. Respectfully, when you took over the bill, the, exe the exemption was not in there. The exemption was placed in the bill in the final weeks of the legislative session when you were carrying it. So were you part of the negotiation to include that exemption? I was not. State Republicans are calling for an investigation. Who's in charge of investigating this? Who's in charge of making sure that the law was actually followed and that there was nothing shady going on? I think it has to be an outside agency uh, that investigates this. All right, perfect. So we heard that there. So interesting twist also to this. So Greg, so George, uh, Greg Flynn and um, Gavin Newsom actually went to the same high school as well. So the tie between the two of them continues to grow deep. Uh, previously, they had some business dealings in 2014, and now their people are, are looking into this thing, wondering what exactly is going on. Um, and many people who are upset, and you can imagine if you are a business owner and you are forced to have a, um, a, a pay increase for your workers, you're not happy about another person who is, you know, a large campaign donor um, getting off scot-free as a result of it. So right now, Gavin Newsom is kind of in the process of damage control. He's uh, been campaigning for Joe Biden, uh, crisscrossing the country, being kind of his, um, his, his donor. 
and his surrogate uh, going out and carrying out a message. Many people are considering and saying that it's possible that, that David Newsom could be the uh, Democratic um, nominee for the 2024 election. And these particular scenarios are not great. Many, many do not have a great view of Gavin Newsom and his way of running California. Um, he previously was the, the mayor of San Francisco, and now he's the governor of California. And both places are have seen significant declines um, since his time in office. Uh, people are concerned that if he gets into the White House, if he is the uh, winner of the 2044 election, that many of the same could be done, but further across the country. What are your thoughts on this situation? Do you think that this was just a coincidence? Do you think that this was intentional and that this is something that was done on purpose? Uh, comment below. Let me know in the in the section. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining, and have a good day.